Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Cook and Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up. <laughs> Andrew McCart, IFL TV, probably sponsored by Everlast. I'm here in my home city. With me, I've got Lee in his home city. You're back home in Edinburgh, Lee, man. I'm excited, man. You must be delighted. No, mate, I am. It's been a long time coming. Uh, we, we said professional debut was 2017, so six years later, finally, I'm back home and I'm the uh, biggest fight of my life. I can't wait. Eric, Mora- Eric Robles, I say Eric Morales, yeah. Eric Robles, Mexican. Now there's a lot of made about these Mexican fighters coming over to the UK. They mentioned De Lara, but also Jeff Wani who knocked out Tennyson in one round. So these Mexicans don't just come here and get paid and go home again. They come here to cause the upset. They don't like losing. So what? So what? Are you, what are you expecting? <laughs> Fucking Lee tried to skeg me there. Uh, what are you expecting from uh, Robles on Saturday, Friday night? Yeah, he's listen. He's coming over here. He's, he's going to fight his heart out, isn't he? Um, he's he's going to. Yeah, he's, this is his biggest fight as well. Um, we've seen it time and time again, like you just said, with these Mexican fighters. So I'm expecting a tough night, but I, I just there's simply no way that I'm going to let him come over here and, and beat me. IBO World Title now. It gets a lot of stick. It might not be the top four, but it's a piece of the puzzle. It's a little carrot you could dangle in front of the other champions and say, listen, I've got a belt that you might want. Come and face me. Now there's the Palace, who I think has got two of the belts. We've got Fulton and Inouye fighting for a couple of the belts. How far are you away with that IBO title logo on Friday to face one of these guys? Yeah, listen, not, not far away at all. But again, I'm just fully focused on Friday night. Uh, you, I'm the perfect example of you can be on top of the world in boxing then you can be the lowest to the lows so i just going to take each fight as it comes down I know that's so cliche but let's, let, that, that is my attitude towards this I just want to get this fight done I've uh, been, been inactive for a long time I just want to get my momentum back get back to where I was and then we'll, we'll assess after that see where we're at Now there's a lot made about yeah, outside of the ring, what's been going on with you and how you have been at the highest of the low and you've been at the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows as well. So winning this IBO World Title, you mentioned your daughter in there, uh, you're up against a tough opponent, homecoming. Is there any pressure on you, Lee? Yeah, there is, but I, I feel like, like Ben said, I, I thrive off that. The big nights, like you just said, they're the, they're the, they're the nights that, that I'm at my best. Uh, the Cash Farouk night, Thomas Asomba, Commonwealth title, Kareem Guffey, the, the big fights, that's where I deliver. This is a big fight. You look, you look at the not so big fights. That's where I've not been at my best. So, um, yeah, definitely going to bring the best out of me. Now he was up there in that press conference saying war. He's Mexican. We, we bring war. You're known as a Scottish Mexican. I've seen you in wars, Lee, and I've seen that you're like a tear up when it comes to it. Obviously, Ben's to your left. He probably isn't going to want that. But what kind of fight are we expect? I mean, a lot of fans will be expecting that war. Can we expect it? Yeah. Listen, there's no. Um, yeah, we've got a plan and for this fight, but there's, um, I can, yeah, it's going to be an exciting fight. Styles make fights, and assure me, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not going to be taking a backward step. So let's see what, let's see what he does. But um, he'll do very well to push me back. Um, I'm going to be on, I'm going to be on top. I feel the later the fight goes, the more it's going to favour me. I'm a championship fighter, and I'll prove that on Friday. Obviously, Middle Bank, I mean, the first time there's been a fight that since it's been done up. Now, you made your debut there a long, long time ago. Was you talking six years ago now? Um, again, winning that world title at your home thing, Josh Taylor's obviously been flying that flag. We need another guy in. We need a young fighter to come in and carry that flag behind Josh. That's you, isn't it? Yep, 100%. This is my time. I've, I've had my... I've built my career off with Josh. I've had that opportunity. I've done that. He's he's away out in the States. He's a, he's a worldwide star now. Now it's my my turn to make my own name for myself I feel like I already kind of have done that but now this is um, my chance to return home and bring the big nights back to Edinburgh and then give the young Scottish fighters the opportunities what Josh gave me and that's what we need again everyone knows me as a biased jock when it comes to me interviewing my, uh, my, my Scottish fighters and the guys that I want to push but for me I'm biased I want to see the young guys coming through and if they can bounce off you these young kids coming through I'm all for it but that being said I want to touch on Ben Davidson and the gym that you've got down there with the Lee Woods and the Pat McCormacks I mean it's it's a young stable of nothing but talented world champions soon to be world champions and you and Pat McCormack so what's the gym like what's the atmosphere like what's the, the sort of camaraderie like in that gym yeah, the gym's buzzing. Um, we've, like you said, you've got McCormack, Shabazz, to help me out massively from sparring for this fight. Um, 
yeah, we're all we're all bouncing off each other. We all live together. We all um, train together. Um, all make the same sacrifices. So it's um, yeah, we're all we're all buzzing. We're all we've all got dates. Everybody's got dates. Weeks after weeks, we're all supporting, pushing each other on. So uh, I believe it's one of the best tables in the UK, and um, the the results speak for themselves. Like I said to you, Edinburgh is our home city. Now, I like it when I don't have to travel to Manchester or Liverpool or Newcastle on a long drive in the car. I like just nipping out my, my house and jumping on a bus maybe to get to the arena. Can this be the first of many? Can we see you back in Edinburgh in the next one? Can we see you maybe like Josh Taylor talking about the Easter Road and the castles? Can you and Josh Taylor bring that Easter Road, Tyne Castle, Murrayfield castle fight to Edinburgh maybe in the next two, three years? Yeah, definitely. I think this is now the this is the beginning. Uh, big fight, big fights coming back to Edinburgh. This is a big, Friday night is the beginning of that. Um, I I want to make this my home. I want to make Edinburgh my home. Obviously, we're starting off here in Meadowbank. I think after Friday night, we'll quick, quickly outgrow this. Um, but yeah, many big fight nights are coming back to Edinburgh for sure. One final one for me then, like I said, Eric Robles, man, he, he's here to fight, he's here to war. A lot of people might look at his record and be like, ah, he's only 14 and lost one. But I looked at his record in box rec. He's fought maybe three undefeated fighters, Mexican fighters, tough Mexican fighters that have been undefeated in his last six fights and took their O. You've still got your O and knocked them out exactly that. So, like I say, it's a tough fight. It's a definite tough fight. So people tune in and don't know who Eric Robles is. This is no pushover for yourself. So what can we expect from Lee McGregor? 100% definitely not. Um, he's a dangerous fighter. Of course he is. He's nine knockouts from 13 wins and like you said all these Mexican fighters every one of them can fight so for him to be going in there fighting them beating them knocking them out uh, shows you itself he's dangerous but um, he's not fought anyone like me um, it's going to be an exciting fight we're both we're both styles I think are going to gel well he looks like he likes to have a fight everybody knows that I like that um, but I want to be smart with it I want to be educated and um but the main thing is just be victorious, Andy. That's all that matters. I was bring that belt back home. That's it. I'm no doubt will mind you will, Lee. And I'm going to be there Friday. I'll see it away and tomorrow. You look a lot better. It's better up at Super Battle, mate. So hopefully hope this is where you're going to stay for a long time. So keep smiling, Lee, and I'll see you tomorrow at the weigh-in, man. Thanks so much, brother. Thank you. Nice one, Andy. Thank you. Cheers, Lee. Thanks, mate. Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Cook and Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn, you get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up.